So today I'll be teaching you how to make a pen quill that you write with and ink. What you're going to need is a feather. This is a pretty small feather. Um, you want to get one like this, but I, re I used those, the ones that I had that were that big. So I'm just going to show you on this tiny one. What you're going to need is a feather, paint, I'm using black for black ink, water, and something to hold the ink in. I'm going to use this little egg carton thing, but you can use whatever you want. So let's get started. For the feather, oh, and you're going to need an X-Acto knife. Or anything that can cut really good. For the feather, what you're going to want to do is take your knife and just simply cut on an angle. This feather's a little weak. Just cut on an angle. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I cut it on an angle. So it just looks like that. And then that's basically it. Um, now what you're going to want to do is take your holder and the paint and you're gonna wanna stick about depends on how much you wanna make hold on I gotta block up on my paint Let me grab my other paint that I have over here. You're going to want to grab some black paint or whatever color you want. And I guess put about that much in. You're, you might want to use less, might want to use... Yeah, you're probably going to want to use less, but let's see what happens. You're only going to want a little water, though. Not this much, not that much in the glass. I just have that much in the glass. You're just going to want maybe that might have been too much, but let's see. You're going to want about that much. You want it to be thick, but you want it to be a bit watery so it can get right easy. This is just a back of a paintbrush I used to mix it. Now, what you're going to want to do is take your thing and just dip it in there. So you got the ink on it. And then just write. That might be backwards for you, but... So yeah, have fun and don't trash your parents' kitchen. Thanks for watching. Bye.